we have another review, another Stanley product. So please stick around. Welcome back everybody. So I've been waiting to get my hands on one of these for some time and I found this at my local Walmart. I paid $19.98 for it. And you'll see it's the cook set for two. Giving you a nice little look at the box. Here, let me cut that ring light so we don't have so much uh, so much glare. There we go. Okay. Let's get it out. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Look at this. The Stanley Handbook number 42. Cattail versus cattail. <laughs> that's kind of funny. At least somebody has a sense of humor at Stanley. Okay, folding handle, just like the, uh, oh, what was that set called? It was called the Stanley Adventure Camp Cook Set, the 24-ounce one. It's very popular. I have several of them. So, nice generous sized pot. The uh, pot is 1.1 quart or one liter. Mm, I like that. That uh, guy on the lid goes up and stays where you want it and it's got a, like a silicone tab. That's nice. Oh, we got Stanley instructions. And they're in just about every language there is on the planet. <laughs> oh my lord. Both sides, every uh, column is a different language. But there's English. And I'm going to kind of slowly go up there if you want to pause and look at any of that. The uh, pot is 18.8 stainless steel construction. You get two sporks. Very nice, very nice. We got a cup which looks like it seconds as a bowl. Yeah, essentially those are bowls. Okay. And piece of cardboard. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Hmm. Right off the bat, first thing I notice, this indentation isn't very deep. So the lid just kind of skates back and forth on the top. Uh, not a deal breaker, but not great either, because here's my Stanley Adventure cook set, the 24-ounce uh, one, and you can see 
the indentation on this lid is much deeper. So the lid stays on there very well. Whereas this one, you can, you can have it come off pretty easy. You'd have to watch out for that. Graduations stamped into the stainless steel in both milliliters and cups. Very nice. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> I'm putting quite a bit of force on that uh, pot and it's not deforming. The construction's pretty solid. I can I can flex the lid a little bit, but that's to be expected. You know, it is what it is. The bowls, you know, they're typical Stanley construction. What do we got here in the bottom? It says 12 ounce or 354 milliliter microwave safe, BPA free, dishwasher safe. That's all in there. Let's take a closer look at these uh, sporks. They're very short. I mean, you can fit right in the hand. They're very shallow. You're not... <laughs> if you had a very... Um, liquidy soup without much content to it. It'd be kind of hard to eat soup with those. But it's not a deal breaker. I mean, you don't have to use these. It's just what they give you. You know. Hmm. Well, let's... It does show on the side of the box here a small fuel container. That's what that is right there, isobutane. So I do have a small isobutane canister, an MSR one, and I guess that would go down in the bottom like that. Cup. Oops. These cups are a little, they're a little slippery. It'd be better if there was some more texture on here, but they're pretty slick. Okay, we'll go with the guys like that. And, whoops, there goes that lid again. <laughs> and put that down. Okay, so there it is with a. Uh, small can of fuel in there. Let's do some weights, shall we? It's set to pounds. Now remember we have a gas canister in there, an MSR one. So one pound seven ounces in metric 651 grams. Alright, let me I'm going to remove the gas canister, put everything back in here. So this would just be the basic two-person kit. 439 grams or 15 and a half ounces, just under a pound. Well, let's strip this down a bit. Let's say you just wanted this big pot and everything for one person. So we're going to get rid of one spork and we're going to get rid of one cup slash bowl. We'll see how that affects the weight. 
So with it stripped down, we're looking at 13 ounces. In metric, 367 grams. All right, with it stripped down, we're going to put the MSR fuel canister back in here. One cup, one spork. And the only other thing you'd have to add to this would be a small gas can uh, stove. And we're looking at 579 grams. And this is a full uh, gas canister, by the way. It's not been used or anything. Or one pound, four and three eighths of an ounce. I know some people are going to compare the 24 ounce to this uh, one quart two kit. It's, it's not a real fair comparison in my opinion because pretty much this adventure kit that Stanley made was pretty much made for one person even though it comes with two cups. Uh, what I have here, this one is kind of stripped down and I only have one cup in here. Okay, and I've used this with my uh, gas canister stoves. I like, I really like this one because I've used it so many times. It's it's just a wonderful simple kit. This, you know, if I'm comparing the two. I think Stanley is listening to people in some respects. This is a much better um, handle than what was originally on the Adventure Kit. Originally on the Adventure Kit we had that, it was a plastic tab that would fold down and no matter how careful you are in a lot of respects, eventually it would start to melt. It would get a little bend in it. Um, that's why I have this uh, key ring in here, which works out for me really well. So they are listening to their customers, I think, when they did this. I wish they would do a re-release of the adventure kit, but do a, a handle like this on it. This on here, oh my God, that would be, that'd be great. Um, I don't like that lid, how it skates back and forth. Uh, not a big deal if you're really aware of it when you're cooking. It's just kind of, for me, it's kind of irritating. We got the vent holes, you know, so you can use that as an impromptu strainer with a pair of gloves. Got the same thing on the Adventure Cook Kit. The Adventure Cook Kit, you know, ideally 20 ounces or 591 milliliters. This guy, 1,000 milliliters or four cups. So I think for one or two people, this kit would be ideal um, for winter time when you need to melt a decent amount of snow if it was a little bigger, that'd be better, but you know, we're all talking about personal opinions here. Uh, let's see here. They're both stainless steel construction. You know, I think if Stanley really wanted to listen to people, go back and redesign this lid, make this a little, this indentation a little deeper so it would set on there a little bit better and not be so not be so flighty but like I said that's my opinion that's what I see here you may see something different they both have the locks for the handles which is pretty standard you know in a lot of camping cook sets I like that I've had nothing but success with the adventure one so probably gonna have similar 
with uh, this two-person one. You know, it's just it's just a bigger pot. It's just a bigger set. So, I'm not going to give this a thumbs down. Uh, it, it, but I'm not going to give it a full thumbs up either. That lid kind of irritates me. I know I keep going back to the lid, but uh, <laughs> you know, so eh, maybe 75% thumbs up in that area. You know, it's it's heavier than it's heavy because it's stainless steel. It is what it is, but. I just thought I would check it out for $19.98. It's not bad for the size of the pot you're getting and what you're getting. Um, in retrospect, the Stanley Adventure Cook Set is right around 15 bucks. You know, so either one is a good choice depending on your environment and your needs for when you're cooking. How much water are you processing? You know, this is going to process and cook a lot more uh, food and water than this one, obviously. You know, this one, this is almost twice the capacity of this one. So, I think that's, that's all I got to say on comparing these two. So, the Stanley Stainless Steel Cook Set for Two, like I said... 75% thumbs up. Could have been a little bit better, but could have been a lot worse too. But if you're looking for a, you know, one one uh, liter pot that you might want to, you know, add and make a cook set, it's not a bad choice for the money. Uh, you can spend a lot more money just getting a pot, and then you're not going to get any of these accessories in here. You're not going to get any sporks. You're not going to get a bowl slash cup. I do like these bowls. They're pretty nice. You know. 12 ounce capacity. That'd be a decent camp bowl. So that's where I'm leaving the review. If anybody out there has this, has used it, has any further input, please hit me down in the comments. I really want to hear what other people have to think about this. This is, this is my initial impressions. Alright, so until then, I will see you out in those woods. Catch you later.